Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Kego Kingdom. Uh, this is Jacob, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to test all the Google models. Um, why we test all the Google models. So if you go to the lmarena.ai, they have a leaderboard of all the best open source models and close end models. They rank everything together in this leaderboard. You can see all the front runners are from Google. Gemini Experimental Top 06, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and ChatGPT is 4.0. That's from OpenAI, but you can see the Gemini 2.0 Flash is also ranked very, very high. So if you look at the entire stack, uh, you can see Google is the front runner of the LMs. That's why I'm creating this video to show you the best way to test uh, Google's uh, LMs. So let's continue. This um, tool is called Gemini Coder. And Gemini Coder is uh, written by Omar Sensevero. Um, so if you go to this uh, GitHub repo, uh, basically it's very easy to set up. Uh, so all you have to do is clone this repo and create an environment, specify the Google API key, and do npm install and npm run dev, and that's it. So we're gonna demo this on Google IDX, which is the best way to demo um, a Google application. So uh, let's go to the IDX. So to um, run the Gemini coder, the first thing is to get the API key. So you can go to Google AI Studio to get the API key. Just create API key, which I have done. So uh, you'll see the API key here, click and copy and paste. And the other way to test um, everything from Google is also uh, Google AI Studio, uh, but this uh, based on the UI application, so it's not really based on the API. Um, so if you go to the Gemini 2.0 uh, experimental, um, basically you can see that um, this is actually a free model. Uh, also, everything in the preview they seems to be all free, but if you go to the Gemini 1.5, they actually uh, have a cost to it. But uh, we're going to test everything in the preview in this tutorial to show you how that works. And that being said, let's continue. So uh, after you get the API key from uh, the Google AI Studio, then you can paste it into this um, that environment folder. So I already set everything up. Um, we just create a folder. Uh, it's called the Gemini, and then just do a git clone and get the uh, code to the Gemini coder. So basically, uh, this is everything uh, lives in the Gemini coder folder. You can see here. So I already did it and here I install an npm and run dev. So you can see everything is spin off nicely. So um, to see how this uh, works on the front end, just go to the IDX console and go to the backend port. So you can see the 3000 is already spin up. Then click this icon. So you're able to see that is running right here. So this is uh, what's running right here. So uh, basically, um, we asked uh, basically this uh, Gemini coder to create a application um, for us. So it's uh, just called a simple touch exam. So you can see this is actually um, creating a very nice simple touch exam, very smooth. Uh, the code is well written and highlighted nicely. And this is the uh, game. So you can actually, uh, let's say restart. And you can see this is actually working perfectly. And you can just move up and down and, oh, sorry, not up, but left and right. And then you can uh, use the up arrow to actually turn the uh, direction. So which is exactly like what Tetris does. Very nice. So uh, this is actually written by the uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash XP, which actually in line with the ranking here. You can see the Gemini 2.0 Flash and it's ranked at fourth. So it's actually better than the DeepSeek V3 model, which we revealed uh, yesterday. So, so which Gemini is doing the very, very good job you can see from the demo here. Um, so if you want to actually test out or change the code by yourself, just go to the open sandbox and then which already opened. So you can see that's actually very nicely dumped to another sandbox and it's running the same application and the code is right here. You can make any changes you want, which is super cool. And if you go back to the uh, uh, IDX, you can see all these logs. Basically, it also tells you uh, what the prompts are, right? So here's the system prompt. And here's um, like thinking carefully step by step, create a React component or whatever the user asks you to create and make sure it can run by itself by using a default exp uh, export. So this is very helpful if you want to create other applications, um, you can replicate everything from Google's system prompt, super nice. So this is also uh, reusable. Um, so I think it's a very good way to learn how you prompt a system. So that being said, this is how you can set up 
a Gemini coder within Google IDX, super easy, and there's no string attached, there's no cost to it. You can just use this to try out excellent Google models. So, uh, last thing uh, before uh, end of this video is that I want to show you how to actually measure the cost of this. So, if you um, go to this um, Google AI Studio, uh, go to your API key, you can just check the set building view use data, just click on that. So it'll give you a, a detailed usage of the uh, tokens and also um, the time you spend on it. So then see that just creating one Tetris game, uh, which we uh, just run one Tetris game. You can see only uh, have a, a very small amount, amount of the usage, like 206 tokens. Uh, it's up to 4 million tokens you can see here. So only used uh, almost like a 0.01%. And it's on free tier. And also, you can see uh, the limit for uh, per day or per minute, both are here. Um, so, it's a very cool. So, you can really try those Google models uh, free of your cost and at your free time. So, that being said, hopefully, this is helpful. If you do like this video, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.